This morning we're at Port Parham, which is about 60 k's out of Adelaide, to Adelaide's north, and it's famous for blue swimmer crabs. People come down here to rape for crabs. exactly when you need to be here for raking. You need to be raking as the tide's coming in. It's September, which is spring, and it's really just the beginning of the crab season now. So we're likely to be getting a lot of small ones. So it's really important to measure them because there's strict rules about the size of crabs that you can keep. So we're really excited. We're just waiting for Brett and Bo at the moment to come and join us and show us how to do it. <laughs> You know the rules? Bring a feet. Yep. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good today. Like, yeah. There's really no wind at all. How long did it take you to get here? Oh, 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. It only took us an hour. The creative one yeah. gets all of the creative camera stuff happening. Are you on holidays now? Uh, no, uh, this is my second last week. Oh, you? Oh, yeah. You're on more week of school. Yeah. All right. Oh well. Then you've got what? Two weeks of fishing. Yes. <laughs> Living the dream. You know, what I'm surprised about is how easy this is to walk on. I actually thought when we drove up that we'd be sinking into mud like up to our blooming ankle. Oh, it's an easy walk. I thought it was going to be a bit soft. Remember that place over, in, um, over on KI where we walked out to do this kind of um, standing in the water fishing, wasn't it? We saw all those razor fish there. We didn't actually know what they were at the time. Where was that, Martin, on KI? Reeves Point, that's right. And then we walked oh, yeah. out, yeah, Reeves, Point. Reeves Point, and it was so boggy and yucky. And when we were on Re walking out at Reeves Point into the water, we were walking like this, but we were sinking into this mud, and it was really foul to walk on. I thought it was going to be like that. The only thing I've known about crabs is that you're not allowed to take the females when they've got all the eggs underneath them. Yep. That's I mean, the only thing I've learned, really. And the size. <laughs> Hey? If you want to get fine, then take them. I know, how big's a fine? That's, that's how it should be. But yeah, I also know that there's really strict size limits. That's why we've got our measurer. Yeah, 11 centimetres. Yeah. 11 so, centimetres. Yeah. I'll show you where to measure them from. Cool. First, you have to catch one. <laughs> These two brown bits? Yeah. Right, okay. What's the theory there? Um, that's just where we go. This is your spot. Yeah. All right. And we just go out and and we think we've got enough or we've been out long enough and we're not getting anything. So next time we come crabbing, we should get ourselves a tub with a rope that just so can float because we haven't come with the right equipment. There's what? Whiting. Whiting? Yeah. Hang on a sec, just stop for a sec and show me what you mean. See how it has a little crevice here? Yeah. Yeah, that's where the whiting's been digging. So that's when you were telling me before about the yellowfin whiting and that they always follow the same path? Wow. I had no idea that they dig. So what are they digging for? Oh, worms. Oh. oh, see it? That's so interesting. I wouldn't mind finding one of these whitings. <laughs> Not today, but you know, if they're making a hole that big. It's very clear. It's time to break it in. Go deeper. Spot there. Yeah. For them a bit bigger, and that's sometimes where the crabs are. Okay. There we go. First one. No way. Just like that. Yeah. Does it look? It looks a bit small. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you where to measure it. Though. Yeah. Hang on. I want to. 
Right. So you go to... It's not far. Wow, I'm really sunk then. Blue crab, measure from here to here. Yeah, it's just slightly yeah. small, isn't it? Yep. First crab of the season always. Uh, like that, uh, so that, that means there's other crabs here though. So that hole there is quite big. Do you reckon no, that's that, crab? That won't have one. But How can you tell? One like that. That big indentation. That's what I just dug up and there was a crab. So how far do you, do, do you dig in? Oh, you usually just feel them a little bit and they just pop up. Okay. All right, well, let's just have a go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's way too small. Yeah, but you got two, babe. A bit deeper. Wow, they're really sinking now. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I've got one. Oh my goodness. That's a keeper. Oh, I'm so excited. We need a photo, quick. <laughs> okay, not a photo. Bo, <laughs> oh, I got one. Good job. Just chuck it in. Oh, oh me too. Oh, do you just hold it like that? Yeah, because then it falls back on right. Oh, that one's. Oh, yes! That thing's a stomper. <laughs> Good job. Woohoo! Alright, Bo, you've taught me well. You won't come off. <laughs> Let go. Tap it. Tap your rake on the top. Oh, I What do you mean? Yes. Oh. Yeah, got to be a bit rough. Come on. Come on, get off. Hanging on. <laughs> he wants to stay on, mate. Oh, good work. Oh, I'm excited. That one. And I'm stuck in the mud now. <laughs> oh, it's been oh, that was exciting. That was I, I felt the little tap, you know. Yeah, you and did. I thought, oh, it's hard to see, you know, once the water gets all churned up, if you've got one. Yeah, you can see behind. It's, um, you know, we're walking through that muddy bit, it's gone all cloudy. Usually you can see a bit of orange, but you can see a bit of orange through there, just between his legs. Yeah. If you get that all through out here, that's when you know he's full of meat. What about the eggs? How do you know if they've got eggs? Oh, uh, you'll see a big, like, orange patch underneath, and that's when it's like, they're called berries. Well done, that's three, Bo. So when you're putting your rake in, you're like feeling for the tap of their claws. <laughs> I thought there'd be one in there for sure. Yeah, same. Probably just left. Oh, that's a keeper. Where did he go? <laughs> there we go. Show us. Oh, that's a ripper. Do you know how to tell if they're boy or girl? No. Oh, seriously, you had to flip over. So when they're round like that, and that one, that means they're a girl and they're called Jennies. Hang on a sec, I've got to come over. What are you saying? So, oh, I see. with that point, that means they're a boy. And with that, that means they're oh. a girl. So they're different colours. Yeah. That too. But the shape's different. Oh, the shape, yeah. See I'll how see. one's yeah. got a little... Yeah, Hang right. on, I've got to get up close. And what about, can you tell the colour on that side? Yeah, so see, this one's more blue and vibrant. Hey, he's missing one. his big claw. Yeah, so is this one. Oh. Yeah, they drop off and grow back. Do they? Just like a gecko's tail. How about that? Oh, this one. Well, that is a stonker. All right. That's a good one. All right. Inspired now. And so the boys are called Bucks and the females are called Jennies. Jennies? Yeah. I don't know why they're called that. Oh, bye. That's close. That I reckon that's that. close. Bo's like on fire. He's got like about five. Yeah. In here, do you reckon? Yeah. Hey? I'm going to watch what you're doing because I'm not uncovering any. Nothing there. But if you feel a little nip. Oh, so you don't dig it in really. You just drag. You do try and dig it in a bit. So. Okay. And then if you feel one, you flick it up, and it's like that, and they can't defend themselves. Yep. So, just go. Oh, ooh, look out, Bo. Yeah. Go for that. Just like that. <laughs> oh, it's a little baby. Oh. The boys are more, like, blue. Yeah. Than the females. Okay. More browny. That's another one. Oh, oh, oh! Nah. Bo, you're just getting them everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Oh, that's a bit small too. Getting a bit of footage there. A lot of them, on me, on me, a lot of them have lost one of their nippers. Heaps of them. Surprising. It's a keeper. Good yep. work. That is a nice one. Also, when they're a bit soft on the shell, that's when you know they're quite empty. When they're soft on the shell? Yeah, like you can squeeze down. I don't know that I want to get that close to them. <laughs> <laughs> got it sometimes. Look at this one. It's got the extra one hanging on. <clears throat> Bo reckons that when their nippers fall off, they grow back, just like a gecko's tail. Who would have thought? There'd be all of these crabs here, though. I need my I need my measurer. Oh, the yeah, one. blue means blue. Oh. Yellow means sand. Bo's got both on his, but I've got one for oh. each sort. Oh, Just gotta. How the hell do you measure them, Bo? You have to get them off. You have to pick them off without getting. Because that almost looks like a keeper. Uh, I'll show you with my measurer. I reckon these ones are a bit easier. That yeah. is a keeper. Look at them with all their legs falling off. That's a keeper. Oh, hey. You see that bit? You've got the big points. Yeah. And you measure the one right there. That's how you tell they're keeper. Because if you measure from here, you just got all that wiggle room. Yeah. And he's just like... Just slots in. Yeah. Yep. And that's keeper. All right. Two. <laughs> so you got a buck and a jenny. i got a buck and a jenny. If you look at the claws, they have that purplish and then they got that blue underneath. Is that that means it's a male? Look at this yeah. extra one hanging on here. Yeah, but like that's like they you don't usually see that on Jennies. They're more like that color all round. So this one here is probably a girl because it's got that purpley color. Do you reckon? No, the purpley and blue are on the box. Oh, but that disgusting weird brownish. Yeah, that's a girl color. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that one coming up the water, that looked awesome. Look at that thing sitting there with its claws up, Martin. Yeah. They freak me out. That's a I'd... ripper. Look at the dark purple colouring. Oh, come on. That that's is well keeper. Well done. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a good one. Come back, come back. <laughs> I love the colouring. That is beautiful. That's a boy. That's oh, gorgeous. That oh, it is, isn't it? All right, let's do the measure up. So that's a, it's a buck, he said. Yep. A buck. It's so a buck. A, they so stop moving. Because it's blue. Oh, blue. Yes. That's a keeper, number three. Good job. Good job. Oh, we made um, pasta linguine. Oh, it was so that's good. Got... You can just feel like a little tap. This one too small. Just hold it. So that's a female. Oh, Martin, that's 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 a Jenna. That's a Jenna. Eh? Hang on a sec. That's a Jenny. Oh, that's just snuck in, Martin. Hang on. That is your that is your first legal blue swimmer crab mm -hmm. from raking. Well done. It's a, it's a Look at that. Oh yeah. That one's Hang on a sec, Martin's just grappling with one over here, looks decent. Grab it, grab it. It's getting away from you. <laughs> I would call that barely a keeper. Oh, there's one at my foot. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would well, you think it is? Yep. It looks like it to me. Oh, yeah. Stay right there. Stop looking at me. Ah, it's going to fall off. 
This is definitely just a sneaking in as well. Because it's, you can actually, Bo, give me your advice. <clears throat> I don't want to get into trouble. Oh, when you're finished. <laughs> Hang on a sec, keep it still. Yep, let's keep it's it. It's just in, isn't it? Yep. Well done. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So what's with the colouring of that one? See those little dots yeah, here? Yeah. That's rust. That means they're full. Oh. That's just hair and muck. But those little dots right there under the leg. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's got lots yeah, of meat in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that's a keeper. I reckon it is. They're, they're a bit bigger out here. Yeah, that is well in, Martin. Love it. Woo so when we go, we, we haven't even walked that far. I know. Come on. Do they? they I'm surprised they're docile. Hand, they're hand, just hand. lying there. Come, this way. Come this way. Oh, it's missing most of its legs. <laughs> this reminds me of that Monty Python skit. No arms, no legs. Come on. Tis but a scratch. A scratch. <laughs> you know that Monty Python skit where they cut off his arms, cut off his legs, and he's still going, yeah. come on! So that shapes boy, right? Yep. Yeah, oh, that's, that's barely a keeper. That's the keeper, though. Later. Look how many crabs we've got. Oh, loving it. That looks like dinner. When that water's rippling, it's really hard to see. So we've only walked slowly through this area, and look at that. You're basically relaxing because you just you're just dawdling, yeah. And you just get that. I mean, and you that's just... that's spectacular dinner right there. Okay, up. Oh. Good job. Oh, that one's got to be clean. Ah, uh, looks a little small. At least you got all your claws. Yeah. <laughs> when the bucks don't have their claws, it's usually because they're fighting over a female. Uh, oh, that's a keeper. It's a keeper. This is very cool. <laughs> this is where you catch salmon trout on mullet. It does look like mullet area, doesn't it? Mullet area is uh, nah, nah. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh. <laughs> that is a nice one. one here. So how do you reckon I can pick it up? From the back. From the back. They're defenceless. Okay. Sometimes their legs do pinch you. Oh, that's, that's a well, all good. That's a well keeper. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no falling over, Martin. You got the bag on. Yeah. Looks awesome. Yeah. Chuck it in and we'll measure it. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a keeper for sure. I don't know how you're going to get it off though. Yes. Here. Oh! oh. <laughs> that's so funny. Let me hang on. <laughs> Sarah, hang on. That looks all. Yeah, that's, that's rare. That's, that's Is it? Cool. Yeah. Very. Yeah. You, usually, get, yeah. you usually get one buck and 20 jennies. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make Asian style crabs for dinner and it's going to be great. It was really nice, um, really nice peaceful way of catching dinner. Wow, that was so much fun. Bo took us raking and showed us how to do it. And I think we caught about 22 crabs between us that were keepers. There was quite a lot of small ones that we threw back. But really that was just over an hour of raking. So that was amazing. I'm so surprised that we caught all of those crabs. So please leave us some comments if you've got any tips or tricks, um, whether it's from this area or crabbing in general. We'd love to hear from you. And like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. It helps Fishing Sister to grow. 
This is Fishing Sister saying goodbye.